Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. In this video I want to show you how to use a type converter and uh, type converter allows us to store uh, custom type objects in a room database and uh, in this video specifically I want to show you how to store a bitmap object in a database. So uh, as you already know a room database accepts only small number of types like uh, string, integer, float, long and so on, but more complex objects are not allowed directly. So uh, basically type converter is uh, used to convert non-acceptable type objects to acceptable ones when uh, writing to our database and uh, convert back to original type objects when reading from database as well. Okay, so uh, back to Android Studio and uh, I have already created the simple project for uh, this purpose. So here we have uh, one activity, activity main, and this is how our layout looks like. So we have only one uh, view here, which is a recycler view. And uh, I have already designed this uh, row layout for my recycler view. We have only three views, uh, two text views, first, last name, and uh, one image view, okay? So basically, uh, we're going to store our bitmap object to our database, and then we're going to read that bitmap from our database and uh, display inside this uh, image view. Okay, so next let's open up a main activity. So here uh, I have only initialized uh, this uh, recycler view adapter and uh, this uh, my view model. And uh, I have already uh, set the adapter on my recycler view as well. And uh, down below you can see one function that uh, says uh, get bitmap. So uh, if you haven't watched my video about uh, coil image library, I highly suggest you to watch that uh, before you continue because uh, in that video I have shown you how to basically convert uh, image from a URL to a bitmap object and uh, that's the same function from that previous video. So basically this function uh, is uh, converting this uh, image uh, URL to a bitmap object and we're going to use this function to pass a bitmap object to our room database, okay? So next we have a simple uh, entity class, person, and we have two fields for now, first and last name uh, with a type of a string. And of course uh, we have a ID which represents a primary key. So our ID is uh, located inside this uh, class body and uh, we don't need to actually specify the ID when we are creating a person object. It will be uh, automatically generated for us. Okay, so next we have uh, our DAO class. So here we are basically reading our database and we are uh, using a live data object. And uh, down below we have a function for inserting our person object to our uh, room database and next we have just a simple uh, room database builder here and uh, here we have a repository and uh, here we have a view model so it's uh, basic and simple and if you're not familiar with the room uh, library then uh, I highly suggest you to watch my uh, tutorial series about uh, room and finally we have a recycler view adapter so it's uh, basic and simple okay so uh, let's open up this person class for now and uh, let's say we want to add a bitmap uh, object here as a field in our person class. So let's add for example one uh, val profile photo of a type bitmap, okay? Alright, so inside our main activity uh, let's try and inserting this person to our uh, room database. Okay, so down below I'm going to first create uh, one person object. Okay, so here we need to pass three parameters. First name, for example, John last name for example doe and for the profile photo uh, we're going to get the bitmap from our get bitmap function down below so let's type get bitmap and here we have a warning telling us that uh, this uh, get bitmap uh, function is a suspend function and we need to run that inside the coroutine so i'm going to cut this and i'm going to add a life cycle scope here so I can launch this um, block of code inside our coroutine. Let's uh, paste that here. And as you can see, that warning disappeared now, okay? So down below, I'm going to use uh, my view model and to get the reference of this uh, insert person function so we can actually insert a person to our room database, okay? So now, if we try to run this app, uh, we're going to get uh, an error because uh, we cannot uh, add a bitmap object directly to our uh, room database. So uh, let's test that out. Okay, so there we go. Uh, we received an error saying that uh, cannot figure out how to save this field into a database. And uh, you can consider adding a type converter for it. So basically, uh, we are not allowed to add this uh, bitmap object directly to our database. So uh, we're going to fix that now with a type converter, okay? And uh, the way we're going to do that, we're going to create a new class here 
Kotlin class named, uh, for example, converters. Okay, and uh, inside this class, uh, we're going to define uh, two functions. One function which uh, will convert our uh, bitmap object to a byte array, and the second function which will convert a byte array back to our bitmap object. Okay, so the first function which uh, will convert our uh, bitmap to byte array will be used when uh, writing to our room database and the second function which uh, converts uh, byte array back to a uh, bitmap object will basically be used uh, when reading out from our database so let's create the first function from bitmap and we're going to add the bitmap object as a parameter and we want to return byte array okay so here we're going to create an output stream byte array output stream so we're going to use a bitmap object then uh, a method called the compress and here we're going to use a bitmap dot uh, compress format so we need to specify the format of our image and in this case it's a png file then uh, the second parameter is a uh, quality i'm going to set that to 100 and the third parameter is uh, output stream so let's pass that here and we want to return a byte array so return output stream dot to byte array so basically this function will convert uh, bitmap to byte array so we can store a byte array inside our room database and we need to annotate this function with a type converter so we have uh, two annotations a type converters and a type converter so we need to choose this second one and this annotation will tell our room uh, database that uh, whenever it uh, recognizes a bitmap object inside our uh, entity class, then it should automatically convert that to byte array, okay? And here we have specified a way to uh, convert that bitmap to this uh, byte array, okay? And down below we need to create another function, and this time we need to convert a byte array uh, to bitmap, so to bitmap. And here as a parameter uh, we need to pass a byte array, and we need to return a bitmap. Okay, so here we're going to use uh, bitmap factory dot decode byte array. The first parameter is a byte array from the parameters. For the offset, we're going to specify zero, and for the length, we're going to choose a byte array dot size. And of course, we need to specify a return keyword here. Okay, and let's annotate this function with uh, type converter annotation. So basically, uh, this is how we're going to tell our room database uh, how to convert uh, bitmap uh, to byte array and uh, byte array to bitmap uh, as well. So now we need to specify this converters class inside our my database okay so let's open up our database builder and uh, here we need to annotate our class with uh, type converters this time so the first one with s okay and here we need to specify our uh, converter class so converters and that's all you need to do okay so uh, basically we have specified to our room database uh, how to convert this uh, object and how to retrieve that object back to our application. So uh, inside our main activity, when we try to uh, insert this uh, bitmap object, it should work fine. Okay, so there is uh, one more thing uh, which we need to add in our uh, main activity. So basically we need to observe our room database and we're going to do that with uh, uh, live data. So let's use the my view model dot read person and let's observe that. So, okay. And inside this observer, uh, we're going to set the data to our recycle view adapter. Okay, so let's use our uh, my adapter for our uh, recycle view adapter and let's use a function named uh, set data and here just pass a person. Okay. All right, so now uh, when we run our application, uh, when uh, our onCreate method is called, then we're going to immediately uh, insert this person, and then uh, we're going to observe our uh, room database, and we're going to set the data to our recycle view. Okay, and uh, just uh, one more thing, so we need to open up our uh, my adapter class. Okay, so now uh, we need to uh, bind our view with the data which we have passed through this uh, set data function. So let's use uh, holder.itemView.imageView and I'm going to call a method called the load, which is a part of a coil uh, image library. And here I'm going to pass a person position dot profile photo. Okay. So this will automatically load our uh, bitmap object to our uh, image view. Okay. So let's run app and let's see if uh, everything gonna work fine. Okay, so now as you can see, we have received the, the same values, John for the first name and uh, Doe for the last name. And of course, our image view is the exact one which we have uh, stored inside our room database. So everything works perfectly fine. And uh, of course, uh, this um, source code will be available for you to download in the video description as well. So that will be all for this video. I hope you enjoy. Please like this video if you find it helpful, of course. And uh, see you next one. If I 
die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, 